hey guys welcome back to another beauty oh <laughs> all right so today i'm going to be sharing with you uh about five yeah five tips on how to survive quarantine you know what give me a minute all right guys so i am back <laughs> This is actually one of the things that um, I think we need to do sometimes. It's just, you know, pretty up. Pretty up because they're all beautiful already. But yeah, um, just take some time to do the little extra stuff. Just to make you feel nice. I'm not saying that makeup um, should make you feel nice all the time or whatever. But it does, you know. So this is one of the things that you can do to um, survive quarantine isolation whatever you want to call it so um yeah i kind of did it a little bit overboard with the liner though <laughs> and like the tear duct uh, highlight but it's fine i'm pretty how yes 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 okay anyway <laughs> so i have written down five you can't see that but just yeah five um tips that have been working for me um just helping me to survive and just keep my head on my shoulders during this time you know it can be very difficult especially if you are not around family or friends physically it can definitely be taxing on you emotionally and mentally um even physically so i hope these tips will help you and your friends your family too um have a more positive outlook on this situation that we're in you know as a world you know not even as like one country but we're the whole world is literally being affected by this um and i just pray that everybody is safe and keeping as safe as they can um i want to say also sorry for anybody who has lost a family or a friend friends family during this time i have lost a family member um, my great grand aunt not great grand aunt grand aunt sorry yes um she passed due to covid19 so i know that it can be very difficult to for family members going through the same thing all right so that's my um thing i'm sorry for your loss if you are in that situation and if you're not if you don't have any family or friends who have um passed from this well that's good you know praise god um yeah and just keep safe so anyway let's get into it the first one i want to talk about is to take some time to meditate no um it can be different for different persons so you may be religious or you may not be religious for those who are not religious um i cannot speak to the resources that you would have available to you um, but I'm pretty sure there are resources out there that are not um, based on a particular denomination or religion or so forth, but it's positive anyway. Uh, get, get yourself something like that, some sort of resource that can help you to just have a positive outlook on each day that you, you know, wake. So yeah, uh, those are for, that's for the non-religious persons. For my Christians out there, I'm a Christian. For my Christians out there, I would suggest downloading uh, an, a devotional or inspirational uh, plan, something, as well as stay studying your Bible. Okay, this, I can I can admit that this COVID nineteen has drawn me closer to God because before this was happening i had no time i had no time we all have time but i didn't make the time to study my bible and to you know read my devotionals i didn't make that time because we had work and we had all sorts of things going on that really don't matter at the end, in, at the end of the day you know so i am thankful that i am able to meditate some more um worship some more and i'm going to share with you what I've been using, I've been using this devotional. Oh, so much. Yeah. It's called Jesus Wins. And it's by Elizabeth Vieira Talbot. She's from Argentina. 
um, but she is Seventh Day Adventist. So if you're SDA, you can look up this devotional if you want. I don't know why it's uh, the sun is just right there, but anyway, you get the, the picture. Jesus Wins by Elizabeth Talbot, right? My mom gave me this when I went to Jamaica in January, and I have been reading it ever since, and it has been very, very, very fulfilling for me. Um, it is reminding me of things that I already knew, and it is teaching me of new things too. So that's a good thing to have a devotional. It doesn't have to be this one. It can be specific to who you are. It can be a you know devotional for males, devotional for females, devotional for children if you have children. So it can be anything. Um, also, I use my Bible app. The Bible app that I'm using is the U version Bible app, right? It's brown app. We can actually select plans. So it's not just reading the Bible, you know, Bible passages. You can select plans. You can add your friends or your family on your plans that you're reading. And it's like a day to day thing. You have different plans for like 40 days, 7 days, 3 days, 5 days, whatever. So whatever you think that you need to focus on, you can choose a plan according to that. So that's number one. Meditate whether you're religious or not number two i think um we should use this time to work on our hobbies and our interests whatever is exciting to us that obviously that we can do in the house or you know around <laughs> the community without uh breaking any governmental rules or whatever we can do that so for me i've been working on um just <laughs> really it's just doing puzzles because <laughs> i'm interested in that and again like when i was working full time um you just have no time to do it or you know when you find the time you're like oh i'm so tired i, won't, I don't want to do this anymore so i uh, and i'm using this i'm doing a lot of puzzles i bought this one since i got here because i actually have some sudoku uh, books that I left in China but they're in China um, and I have, I have 10 of them you know 10 of them I have <laughs> but yeah so I bought this since I'm here it's just a crossword crossword puzzle book I'm kind of halfway through right now <laughs> I know uh, I also am playing some crossword games on my phone i'm playing words with friends i'm playing scrabble go so it's just to it's I, I i like things like these that will um stimulate my mind and my thinking and you know help me to 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 keep up with my english knowledge you know it's, that's very important and this one is especially for those who are away in foreign lands where they don't speak english you need to speak with english persons english speaking persons or engage in stuff like this where you're doing english you know related puzzles and stuff like that it will make you keep up with your language and with your skills that you already have um also i i am into adult coloring yes that's a thing i do have a page as well color with char go ahead and follow if you're interested <laughs> um that's on instagram and uh, I actually drew a mandala. I, I created a mandala the other day. I just did it on a whim. I didn't know that I was going to do it, but I did and I, I actually like it at the end. <laughs> I don't know, if you're into like video games, this is your time to play the video games like crazy. Especially if you're out of work right now and you have those video games at home, go ahead, play some, play some new ones, meet some new players online, whatever it is that you, have an interest in this is your time to actually make time to do those things um number three let's move on to number three keep in contact with your family and your friends that is so very important uh i am currently with family so i have you know physical contact and communication with my family right now and i also speak to my family who are not here um you know online obviously so i encourage you guys if you are especially if you are living alone 
make some time to connect with your family whether it's your parents your siblings your cousins your aunts uncles whoever and your friends your close friends make some time to, time to check up on them to just interact with them again to you know use up your language um it's it's good for the soul it's good for the mind and of course it's peace of mind when you know that they're okay too and you know when they know that you're okay so check up on your family keep in touch with them and it don't have it doesn't have to be just like a hi and bye how you doing whatever it can be like you guys playing games online together you know i'm playing scrabble with my sister <laughs> and she's all the way in china um yeah so it's just like that but we talk every day though other than that but i'm just saying like it doesn't have to be just a set greeting type of thing you can do fun things online um i have friends who have zoom have done zoom meetings with their family and with their friends and they, they watch stuff together and they, they play games together on zoom right um i have friends who have done zoom parties come on now i mean if you're into that you're into that everybody have them like a drink and snacks and everything and everybody on zoom listening to the music whatever you know whatever you can yeah you can do do that it will definitely um just lift your spirits during this time for sure okay number four this is one that i need to also improve on i'm not very good at this okay not very good at this i wonder if you guys can guess <laughs> it is staying active and eating healthy I'm not good at it at all i used to be so good at the eating healthy part so very good i actually used to be vegan i was vegan for about two years and that was the skinniest i've ever been like and it was healthy skinny because you know i had no meat uh and i still was getting my protein by like using chia seeds flax seeds those stuff and then i think one day my mommy cooked curry chicken dude and that was it that was it <laughs> i just fell right off that wagon but i need to go back because this is not working this is not it's not working mm -mm. and i'm a person who don't like exercise i'm gonna admit that i do not enjoy exercise <sighs> So I definitely need to watch what I eat and how I eat and what time I eat. Those things are very important. And I, I guess you would know your body, right? You would know what is good for you, what you can manage and can't manage. Um, so you know what to do to fix fix you. Um, I definitely have gained weight during this period. And it can <laughs> definitely be depressing and sad and if you're worthless and all of that i felt it i have felt it trust me you're not alone if you're feeling the same um but we just have to find that willpower to put down the snacks <laughs> stop drinking the sugary juice especially if like high fructose corn syrup in there oh my gosh and sugar mm -mm. and just try to eat as healthy as we can during this time um again this is something that i'm also working on day to day uh, i do try to limit my snack intake i try to eat as early as i can like for dinner um and i'm also working on doing this very simple exercise because <laughs> it's for kids that's why i put it in simple but it's really not simple when you do it i don't know how that is for kids but yeah anyway i've been doing that um i started doing it like last month and it was going well like day to day and then we fell off and then we start back so we started back uh, hopefully i can keep up and um hopefully when i get home it will be even better because i suppose there's just more space to like do stuff but anyway if you don't have the space um you can always just exercise in your room or if you have a backyard go in your backyard do a little jogging do a little exercise whatever uh if your parks are open you can go to your park of course with your social distancing in check 
go to your park, ride a bike, whatever it is that you can do where you are, um, do that to keep active and healthy. <laughs> All right. And of course, hydrate. Oh, this is what I'm very good at. I'm very good at water. I'm very good at water. Like every day I would drink probably two or three of these. Very good at water, but the food. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, all right. So last, last tip from me is simply to breathe, breathe, breathe. We tend to focus on the negatives of everything that's going on around us. We tend to focus on the, the numbers. Oh my gosh, this country has X amount of numbers. Oh my gosh, you know, so many people have died. We tend to focus on that and we tend to forget that we are here now. Like, if you are watching this video right now, what does that mean? You are above ground. And what does that mean to be above ground? It means that you're alive, you're well. Yeah? Maybe, I don't know, maybe you are sick. Maybe you have some, I don't know, cold or whatever you're fretting about it. But guess what? You're alive now. You are alive now. So breathe. Just breathe yeah um and this goes hand in hand hand in hand with the meditation i would say but it's still a bit different because i think with the meditation your 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 mind is focused on what you're putting into it right so whatever i'm reading in my devotional my mind is going to be focused on that whatever i'm reading whatever scripture i'm reading my mind is focused on that for that moment but for the breathing aspect of my tips <laughs> um i was thinking more along the lines of just taking some time taking five minutes out of your time just five minutes out of your day just sitting by yourself and just listening to your mind what it, what is your mind saying to you right now what it is what is it that you need right um and if it is that you can get what it is that you need do that because it will help you to be mentally um mentally stable so to speak um i know a lot of people have lost their minds during this time a lot of people have committed suicide during this time so it's very important i think to take some time for yourself to understand what you need and get that help if possible if available and just thank thank god every day you know like every day you're awake literally thank god because this time during this time there are so many people who have gone you know and still not only because of covid19 i mean people are still dying for murder and all sorts of stuff um so it's 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 a very special time i would say to be alive but I'm very thankful that we're alive right now. Me, you, we're watching this. Yeah, you're watching this. I'm doing this video right now. I'm very thankful that we're alive. And I hope you guys can use some of these tips for your day-to-day -day journey during this um, stressful period. All right, guys. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing. I, I really don't know if I'm going to get the stuff in here, but <laughs> um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. Please like this video. And if you know anybody who would need these tips, go ahead and share this video. All right. I love you guys so much. Bye.